Hello, Flexing users. I am Moses. Here is how to set up automatic scheduling for processing compensation and payouts. Running payout and processing compensation will be done by the automated task, allowing you to focus on other essential things. All you will need to do is export the payout file. From the navigation menu, click on Wallet, Payout, then Options. On the Option tab, you will see Automatic Payout Scheduling. Click on Add a new schedule. This feature may not be available on your package. It's only available on Flexum Plus and up. Let's set up process pending compensation. In some cases, some company prefer to, to process or pay a different commission type or compensation type at the different time. So for example, faster bonus may be paid on a weekly basis while uh, retail uh, commission paid on a two weeks basis or, or monthly. You can set up the system to process that commission type at a specific uh, time and also have it available for payout. Uh, in this case, you set up your compass, you set up your pasta bonus for weekly. On Friday, you have a process while you while you're doing your payout on Monday or Saturday. Anything that is available in the payout uh, uh, wallet will be paid on Monday on that Monday. So, uh, uh, but the, uh, for the retail, so let's assume you're doing your retail on a monthly basis. The retail will not be processed, so it will be, a, the, the, the compensation will be new. Uh, so they will not be provide, uh, they will not be, uh, uh, in, in this case, uh, uh, the retail wouldn't be part of the payout, uh, because you have that set on a monthly basis and not available for payout yet. So let's start with the faster bonus. Let's say payout. Let's start with the faster bonus. Process FD. Quickly. Now we select uh, uh, if it's going to be day of the week or day of the month. So this is going to be weekly. In this case, we select day of the week. And then we select which day out of the week we want to do this. Let's select Friday for this example. We can type in the date, the date to start or we can leave it. If we leave it, it's going to be the next uh, coming Friday. And here we're going to select fast start. So we're selecting all faster that is available here. Now, you don't have to do this. You can run all your entire commission type at the same time and have them available for, for payout. This is only for companies that want to separate uh, their commission payout, and this is the way to do it. And then you can also select which class to include on this uh, run of uh, processing of uh, compensation. We're going to leave this uh, empty. And the system will assume all rank to be included on that uh, on that uh, process. You also have options here to select. You can include users. You can exclude users uh, from the processing. Uh, you can also select to notify. You can provide an email address to be notified uh, after the, each time uh, uh, the the commissions are uh, processed. Uh, you can also use additional option like location uh, you know selecting if it's domestic that this would be the uh, your, your people within your country or you can select just international or you can select a specific country uh, to be included on that payout and all all of the rest they're going to be ignored also you have this option of rollover compensation which means that compensation that is been in the system before that time uh, basically, it may be composition that is ignored uh, for some reason uh, on the last uh, processing will be included. 
um, on hold the compensation, compensation that is on hold for a reason, for some reason that you don't want to pay the compensation yet. You want to wait to you know you want to wait for a specific day uh, before you process them. You can force the system to process those compensation. And then restrictions, you can restrict the compensation processing uh, from the uh, uh, suspended members, uh, forfeit uh, the, the compensation if they are suspended at the time of their processing. Um, so I'm going to click on save to save these settings. So that is set up. So we're going to set up another one uh, for the general commission. So like yes. And now we, we're going to have this uh, once a month. And we select the day that we want to run this. So we're just going to select 28 day. Uh, now you can set you can set up multiple of these. You can uh, we can set up one for 28 days, 20, 28 of the, of the of the month. You can set up for 15 of the month. You can set up one for 10 of the month. You can set up multiple. If you do this, the system will process com uh, will process dependent commission or process pending pending compensation uh, uh, during those times. So we're going to select the other ones. Again, we don't have to do this. We can include everything in one in one in one setup. I'm only showing an example on how to separate the processing of payout. The same option goes for this as well. I'm going to select yes. Click on yes. So that part is already set up at this point. The system will run the uh, the processing of a uh, compensation based on what you set up. Now, uh, processing of bonus pool, you can also set that here to do this for you automatically. So let's assume you're doing this once a month. You are running the bonus pool once a month. So we select once a month. So we knew, you can select 28 day. And again, you can set up multiple times that the bonus we run. But in this case, uh, we're doing it once a month, and we're doing it on the 28th day. Uh, we can also, you know, uh, type in the day that we want this to start. If you don't type in a day, then the system will we assume the next 28th day of that month. Then you'll be given an option to select which bonus pool. In this case, we only have one, so we're only going to select one. You can notify the uh, the admin whenever the bonus pool is generated. Click on save. That is it. So the next thing now is to create the run payout. Uh, you don't have to do this also. You can have this done manually if you want, if you want to inspect the uh, the payout yourself before, uh, before you actually generate it. Uh, before you run it, you can have this not set here and run it manually. We have a, we have another video for that. But if you want the system to run the payout for you, and uh, the only thing you do is just to go download the file and pay your members, you can set this up here. And you can also set this up. You can set multiple of this up. You can set it up to run every week, meaning that you set up each, each instance for each week. Uh, you can only set up one day I set it. So what we're setting right now, let's assume that we set it for weekly. So we do a uh, day of the week. We're going to choose Monday. So this is going to be run every Monday. It will run your payout every Monday. Uh, so if you want it to run Monday, you run to run on Wednesday, you run it to run on, uh, on, on Friday, you will have to set up each one for the, for, for the day that you want it to run. So the same option applies here. You can set up when to start. Uh, also select the class rank that you want to be included on this payout. Uh, select the, uh, the uh, payout method. And set up the system to run payout for each payout method if you want as well. You also have option of including users or excluding users. Uh, notifying member, notifying admin, and also providing email address if you want 
uh, someone to be notified out, out, outside of the system. Also, the option that you have is a location, specify which location, or you can just have them all included. Uh, the same thing with this, you can uh, include the e-cash uh, e balance that is in, in uh, people's wallets, uh, or you can just ignore it. If you, if you include it, it will automatically get all the e-cash and put it into the, into the payout for uh, ready, uh, ready for actual payout. Uh, you can uh, ignore to reserve the membership uh, payment. If you do that, all the money will be paid, all the money will be included on the payout. There won't be any reserve that is, that is reserved for the membership payment. Uh, but if you have that on check, the system will automatically take the money that is supposed to be used for, uh, for, for membership payment in the future. It will reserve it out of that payout. Um, also too, you can um, uh, ignore class, uh, class payout uh, requirement. This is requirement that is set up on, on each class. And that includes minimum payouts and some other stuff. Uh, also ignore minimum payout. This is minimum payout that is set on the payout method. You can ignore it and just have everyone included. Either you have $2 or you have $5, you'll be included. But if you click on, uh, if you don't click on uh, ignore, uh, the system will follow that uh, requirements. You can also restrict uh, some specific member that, are, that their account is suspended. So if the account is suspended, you can say you don't want them to be included or you want them to be included or you want the, uh, the, the, the uh, payout to be forfeited. If you select to be forfeited, that, that their payout is going to be set to zero at that point and they won't get any, any money from you. But if you have them ignore, the system will, uh, will not include them in the payout. But if you have them process, then they will be included on the payout. Then we click on we click on save. That is it. Let's click on refresh to see what we have. So this is the setting that we have. At this point, the system will start running this schedule. And this is when they're going to be run next. Now let me show you what it will look like if you try to process these things manually yourself. The software will tell you that it's been set up. You don't have to run the, 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 uh, the manual pr process anymore, but you can still do that if you want. So you can run the manual process in between anytime you want. It will not disturb the, uh, the, uh, the automatic uh, task. So it shows you that it's been set up already, that you don't have to run it, but you can still run this manually if you want. So this is how to set up automatic task uh, scheduling for your payouts. Thank you for watching.